Hello guys. Today we are going to understand what is the use of SC Linux. The very first question that comes to our mind is what actually is the use of SC Linux? Why it is important? So far we have studied the use of chmod to manage the permissions. Then we studied ACL which also is used for managing permissions but at a micro level. You can set the ACLs for one particular user or one particular group also. SA Linux is another way to protect the system. It's a collection of rules that govern which process have access to which file, directory or port. Every file, directory or port within the system has a dedicated SC Linux context. Now what is SC Linux context? An SC Linux context is a name used by the SC Linux policy to decide whether or not a process can access a file, directory or port. So even if two different files may have the same permission for the same user, but if their context are different, one file may be accessible, the other may not. So let me show you the use of SC Linux by taking an example of the HTTPD server or the Apache server. The Apache web server has access to all the files within the slash var slash www slash html folder only. So if I long list this, so you see there is nothing in this directory. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file within this directory. Name it as index.html. Let's suppose I name this file index.html. Okay. If I long list this. So you can see the permissions for the root user. Read write. That for the group read and for others also read. All right. If I list the permissions for the HTML directory, so these are the permissions for www and for var. So you can check this on your system also. Okay. Now let us suppose I create a directory in the root directory itself. So I'm going to create a directory slash new. Okay. And then I'm going to create a file within new. So let me name it as index. Okay. So the first one was index for HTML within the HTML folder. Okay. The purpose will be same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a small web HTML code in these files. Now, if I long list these, this directory and the file, so you can check here, the permissions are exactly same for the directories, var, www, html and new, you can see, same is the case for the file. Okay, this is very important, you should also do like this. Now, if I write some content within this var www slash html index.html file, so this is an HTML page, I am going to host it. So I am writing within this page, this page is in the var directory. Okay. So my web page contains this. So this is my website. All right. So Apache web server should be able to host it. Now how to check. If you open the configuration file for Apache, which is slash etc slash httpd slash conf slash httpd dot conf you scroll down come to the document root okay so in your system also this will be the 
value in the document root okay just make sure that the httpd packages or the services running okay if it's not download it and run it now what this document root means that whatever html file you keep here will be accessible by the apache web server okay so this configuration file will be same for everyone so let's come out of this now how to host it simply use the curl command localhost so localhost refers to that address which is there in the directory root document root slash var slash www slash html so localhost represents that what is the file name index.html so you can see that the apache web server is able to host that page so this page is in the var directory fine now if i change the document root so let's suppose i change the address of this document root from var www html to what to the new document root so means i want to change the root directory to slash new the one we just created and change it here also to slash new so these two changes you need to make this means i should be able or the apache web server should be able to access all the pages that are here save it now restart the service system ctl restart httpd this is very important whenever you make changes to the configuration file you must restart the service once again now one thing that i forgot initially was let me write some content in this so this is the index file in new directory okay so now if i curl local host and the page name was index okay in the new directory we created the name as index only you can see that the page is not hosted now even if the file name was index.html even then the web server is not able to host it so whether the file name is index or index.html it's still getting the error why now i'll show you why do one thing now use ls minus lz what z does is it shows you the sc linux context that is there on the file so now if i show you the sc linux context on the index.html file within the var www html you see here what is the context it is httpd sys content underscore t whereas for the file within new it is default underscore t similarly for the directory also for the new directory also the context is default underscore t whereas for the directory html for the directory html it is httpd sys content t so this is why the apache web server is need, not able to access the file which are there in new because the sc linux policy is not what is predefined by the developers all those files which have this content or this context will only be accessible by apache so now what i am going to do is i am going to change the context of the directory new to this httpd sys content t how to do it we use the command sc manage f context 
minus a minus t what is the new context that i want httpd underscore sys underscore content underscore t for slash new dot star whatever is within it also so this is what you need to write and then we need to use restore con minus rv to restore the context on the directory new recursively minus r is recursive it is going to be applicable for all the files within it so it is successful now if i check ls minus ldz for the new directory so you see now the context is changed similarly for the file also it is changed now let us try to host the file again now you see we are able to host the file even if i try hosting the another file i have made two files index and index.html let us first write some content new index.html within index.html so write different content in each of the files so that you are sure which one you are actually hosting okay why this is happening because now the context of these files lz not t is what httpd sys content t so this is possible only due to the se linux policy for the web server which says that the web server can access only those files which has this particular context so i hope that with this example the use of sc linux is clear it doesn't matter what were the read write permissions on those files it was same for the same user but for apache the context was not same so after making the context which is defined for apache then only we are able to host those uh, websites or you can say host those pages web pages using the apache server so this is applicable for different services for which the sc linux policy has been defined in the next video we will cover how to change sc linux modes and sc linux booleans